When you're evaluating a function that contains a square root, you're still using PEMDAS, but you wanna think of what's inside parentheses as what's underneath the square root. So you wanna do what's underneath the square root first, because that's your grouping symbol, followed by exponents, but a square root symbol is an exponent. It's to the power of one half. So after you simplify what's underneath the root, you wanna move on to finding the answer to the square root, and then followed by multiplication division, then addition, subtraction. Okay, so they start off pretty simple here. If I have the number negative 61, and I wanna substitute that value into my equation, there's my negative 61, put that every place there used to be an X, and then from here, minus minus this 61 is underneath, it is underneath the square root, so do what's underneath the root, that makes three plus 61 is 64. So we've simplified what's under the root, and then we take the square root and I get eight. So there's my answer. Okay, so let's do that again. This time I wanna substitute in negative one. If I do what's underneath the root first, simplify what's underneath there, three plus one is four, and then take the square root and I get two. Okay, and this one, I'm gonna substitute in three. Three minus three is zero. I'm doing what's under the root first and then finding the answer to the root. So I get zero. Okay, let's substitute four. If I substitute four into my function, when I do what's underneath the root first, three minus four is negative one. And now I go to find the answer to the root, but the square root of a negative number is not a real number, so I have no solution, specifically no real solution. Okay, so here's another example. This time notice the minus three is off to the side, it is not under the root. So when we're following PEMDAS, we wanna simplify what's under the root, then find the answer to the root, and then finish with our order of operations. So here I go, let's substitute in zero. This minus three is off to the side, so I have nothing to simplify under the root, so I'm gonna find the answer to the root, and square root of zero is zero, and then finish simplifying, zero minus three is negative three. There's my final solution. Okay, this time let's substitute in 16. The only thing under this root is 16, so we've simplified what's under the root. So now let's take the square root. The square root is 16 is four, and four minus three is equal to one. Okay, this time let's substitute in 49. There's nothing to simplify under this root, so the square root of 49 is seven, and seven minus three is four. Okay, last one for this one. Let's substitute in negative 81. There's nothing to simplify under the root, so now I go to take the root, and I cannot take the square root of negative 81, so we end up with no real solution. Okay, then just a couple other just quick ones without the table. In this one here, the two in front, this just means two multiplied by the square root of x. So let's start by taking the number, uh, the number nine, substitute that in. Following our steps, step one, simplify what's under the root, the number nine is the only thing under the root, so that's all we can do. Step two, find the answer to the root. 
because that's like exponents. And the square root of nine becomes three. So I end up with two multiplied by three. And my final answer there would be six. Okay, let's try this with this even bigger one. I'm gonna go in and replace every X with the number 10. Okay, so following our order, simplify what's under the root first. So 10 minus one is underneath the root and that becomes nine. The two comes down, the plus four comes down. Now that I've simplified what's under the root, next I'm gonna find the answer to the root because that's like exponents. And the square root of nine is three. So this becomes two times three. And then I'll bring down that plus four. Then finishing with the order of operations, um, we've already done what's underneath the root, what's inside parentheses first. Then we've done exponents, which is finding the answer to the root. We're on to multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. And two times three is six, and six plus four is 10. And that would be my final answer. So as they get more and more complicated, remember, you want to do what's underneath the root first, simplify that. Then once you have a single number sitting underneath that root, you're gonna find the answer to that root, that's like exponents, and then move on to multiplication, division, addition, subtraction.